Toxoplasma is probably the most successful parasite in the world today. This microscopic creature is capable of infecting any mammal or bird and people across all continents are infected. Person carries Toxoplasma for life. So far, we don't have a drug that can eradicate the parasite from the body and there is no vaccine approved for use in human. Across the world, it is estimated 30 to 50 percent of people are infected with toxoplasma and infections may be increasing in Australia. A survey of studies conducted at blood banks and pregnancy clinics across the country, the infection rate at 30 percent. However, a recent Western Australian community-based study found 66 percent of people were infected. The disease caused by this parasite can scar the back of the eye. Our new research looked for sign of disease in otherwise healthy people and found a significant number bore the mark of toxoplasma. The cat is the primary host for toxoplasma. Cats catch the parasite when they eat infected prey. Then for a couple of weeks, this pass large number of parasites in their faces in a form, in a form that can survive for long period in environment, even during extreme weather. When the feces are ingested by a livestock while grazing, parasites lodge in the muscle and survive. Thereafter, the animals are slaughtered for meat. Humans can become infected by eating this meat or by eating fresh produce or drinking water soiled by cats. It is also possible for a woman infected for the first time during pregnancy to pass the infection to her unborn child. While infection with toxoplasma is extremely common, the most important health statistic is the rate of the disease caused by the infection which is called toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasma really likes the retina, the multilayered nerve tissue that line the eye and generate vision. Infection can cause recurring attack of retinal inflammation and permanent retinal scarring. This is known as ocular toxoplasmosis. Contrary to much that is written about ocular toxoplasmosis, medical research shows this condition usually affects healthy adults, however can be more severe. An attack of active inflammation causes floaters and blurred vision when the inflammation progresses to scarring there may be permanent loss of vision. In a study of patients with ocular toxoplasmosis seen at a large of eyes and 25% of eyes were irreversible blind. To diagnose ocular toxoplasmosis, a retina examination is necessary, ideally with the pupil dilated. The retinal lesion is easy to spot because of the way toxoplasma activates retinal cell to produce certain proteins and then optometrist can immediately recognize appearance often a blood test is also performed to make the diagnosis if the condition is mild the doctor may let the body on immune system control the problem which takes a few months however usually a combination of anti-inflammatory and antiparasitic drug is prescribed toxoplasma infection is not curable but it can be prevented meat sold in australian Supermarkets may harbor toxoplasma. Cooking meat to an internal temperature of 60 degrees centigrade or freezing it head of cooking way to kill the parasite. Fresh fruits and vegetables should be washed before eating and drinking untreated water should be avoided. Gloves should worn when changing cat litter and hands washed afterwards. The World Health Organization and other international and national health bodies are promoting an approach called One Health for disease that grows human, animals, and the environment. This involved different sectors working together to promote good health. Now we know just how common ocular toxoplasmosis is in Australia. There is a real justification to harness One Health to combat toxoplasma infection in this country.